Hey, what's going on guys? So today we're going to talk about in terms of uh, the concept of multiple linear regression, right? Uh, so this is carrying on from the concept that we talked about in terms of uh, a regular linear regression model, right? So a, le uh, a linear regression, as the name suggests, with the word linear, uh, it really has uh, one independent variable, right? So y is the dependent variable, and x is going to be the independent variable. And e, of course, is the error term. Uh, b naught is the slope coefficient, right? And these are the slope coefficients of, sorry, B naught is the intercept, right? So what really is, let's say, you know what, if you are a investment analyst, and if you want to go and, as I mean, as an investment analyst, what, what we're really trying to do is trying to forecast a particular price of a uh, security, right? It could be, uh, stocks, bonds, anything, whatever it is. So you're trying to find, can you predict the future price, right? Now, price could be affected by not only one thing, can be affected by various stuff, right? So linear regression uh, factors in only one independent variable. When you talk about multiple linear regression, right? Uh, what we're going to have is uh, multiple slope coefficients, Right? So now instead of having uh, one slope coefficient, now we have multiple. So it could be, hey, you know what? Uh, maybe the price of a security is based on, say, earnings, right? Uh, it could be based on sales. It could be based on how much cash flow they're generating. So this could be different variables which can explain uh, based on the earnings or sales or cash flow, uh, how can we really go and predict the price? If we can predict, have some kind of regression model which can explain the future and that's what you're really trying to predict uh, what is going to be the stock price right uh, let's go into a bit more detail so we again we're talking about mlr which is the multiple linear regression model uh, as i talked about let's write the equation again right so repetition is really going to make it the key in terms of if you understand what's going on Right, so this is the dependent variable. Uh, these are the independent variables. Uh, also called the uh, slope coefficients. Right, so these are the slope coefficients of each independent variable. Right, so at this present time, uh, we know these are all the independent variables. So this is the dependent, this is the independent, uh, and these are the slope coefficients. Now, if we come up with, say, a regression model, so hey, you know what, let's say uh, the price of a security is, say, we have intercept as, say, three plus, I'm just making some numbers up, right? So maybe uh, the first slope coefficient is all about earnings, right? So let's say that's B1. Uh, and let's say that sales, let's say that's B2, right? Uh, so we're trying to, try to find out, hey, you know what? Is this really uh, an actual value that we is has relevancy, All right? So that's where we introduce uh, so-called uh, hypothesis testing, right? We're trying to sig try to take, take, take a look at, is this really significant? If this is significant, then it has explanation power of price. If this B1 is not significant, uh, then at that point, uh, it probably won't be able to give you any uh, prediction of the price, right? Uh, let's take a look. Right. Uh, so let's say, you know what? We're going to do a hypothesis testing on B1. Now, the most common hypothesis testing that we really do is 
uh, the null hypothesis, which is B1 0. If that's not true, then hey, you know what? Uh, B1 is less than 0. So when you talk about hypothesis testing, uh, this is really the bell curve that you're really looking at, where at the, in between there's going to be 0, right? Uh, so if it falls under these parameters, then you fail to reject the null hypothesis. If it's over here, uh, then we reject the null hypothesis. Right. So we're going to do each on each parameters, B1, B2, B3, whatever it is, and do a hypothesis testing if it can actually go and has any significance to actually explain the dependent variable. So that's multiple linear regression where you talk about uh, multiple variables as compared to one variable. right? Uh, and we're going to talk about in terms of testing whether each variable actually have any sort of uh, explanatory powers. Now, when we talk about, uh, let's say, uh, from the previous one, we talk about, say, ANOVA tables, right? So how is going to be ANOVA table of a multiple linear regression going to look like? Uh, so we're going to have uh, the intercept. Let's say the B1, sorry, the B0. Uh, so it's going to have its own coefficient. It's going to have its own uh, standard error. And, of course, it's going to have a t-stat. Right. Uh, so keep in mind uh, the t stat. The formula for t stat is going to be the coefficient divided by the standard error. Sorry. Right. So the coefficient over here uh, divided by standard error. So let's say you know what we have coefficient of say uh, two, and let's say the standard error is 0 0.05. So t stat is going to be two over 0 0.05. So so b naught we will have a value, and let's say if we talk about say earnings, right. So let's say that's b one. Um, let's just make up a number. Uh, so it's 0 0.02. So 2 divided by 0 0.02 so minus. Uh, let's say there's sales. So this is B2. And let's say the coefficient on that one is minus 1.5. And the standard is 0 0.05. Then the T stat on that going to be minus 1.5 over 0 0.05. So looking at the T stat, we will be able to signify uh, whether these inter. Uh, these coefficients are they really have any significance if they have no significance which means that you know what that this has no explanatory power and there's no point in actually having this variable or coefficient if it does have some kind of explanatory power uh then yes of course you know what uh, we want to keep that in the equation uh because that can ex actually explain or help us predict what the future of um the price is going to be uh, we also talk about f stat Right, which talks about the overall significance of the regression model. Right, so we talked about f stat before in the ANOVA table. Uh, if you guys didn't take a look at it, take a look at the ANOVA table that we talked about. Uh, so this is really talks about f stat is overall significance of the regression model. How much the regression model can actually explain uh, the future. Right. So that's pretty much it, guys, for the multiple linear regression. If you do like the video, like and subscribe, and you guys have a good one.